Robert Kiyosaki, and Brent Johnson warn of the disastrous liquidity crisis coming. Robert Kiyosaki and Brent Johnson share their predictions for the future and encourage people to prepare in advance for the events associated with the coming liquidity crisis. Robert Kiyosaki is a successful American businessman, entrepreneur, and author. He is the founder of the Rich Dad Company and Rich Global LLC. Meanwhile, Brent Johnson is a chief executive officer and fund manager of Santiago Capital, a financial advice business he founded after a successful career at Credit Suisse. In this video, Kiyosaki and Johnson discuss the impending liquidity crisis, the dollar milkshake theory, the role gold plays in this catastrophe, and what you can do to protect yourself in the current economic climate. Hello and thank you for joining us for another video of Finance Sense, where we explore all of the most recent developments in the world's economic and financial markets. Before we start, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. Now, without further ado, let's start. According to Johnson, what occurred over the past 10 years is that after the financial crisis, the central banks basically came together and printed all this liquidity that continued to go on for 6 to 7 years. In addition, the U.S. began raising interest rates at the end of 2015, and this action, together with a number of other factors, resulted in a gradual increase in rates from 2016 to 2019. Interest rates were a significant factor, and despite the fact that they have decreased considerably, interest rates in the United States remain far higher than those in Japan and Europe, both of which currently have negative rates. Johnson contends that prior to 2018, global central banks added liquidity to the milkshake of the global market. But, after 2018, a combination of factors, including the tax policy, regulatory policy, and higher relative interest rates have essentially swapped out a syringe for a straw. He asserted that these factors act as a straw that sucks up all of the liquidity that the rest of the world is printing, in addition to other variables such as the United States' possession of the global reserve currency system, the dollar payment system, the largest U.S. military, and the deepest capital markets. Furthermore, as per Johnson, it doesn't matter if you believe the dollar is a great or terrible currency. The truth is that it is the money that the world functions on. To summarize, it doesn't matter if you hate the dollar or reside in Argentina, Turkey, China, Brazil, or France. To participate in international trade, you need dollars. Johnson, on the other hand, believes that there are a lot of individuals who would want to change the role of the dollar as a reserve currency, but as of right now, they haven't, and the attempts that they have made to do so haven't made much of a difference in the status quo. When everything was going on, Kiyosaki couldn't help but wonder, if they were creating so many dollars, why weren't people just rushing to buy gold? Why doesn't the price of gold skyrocket if there are so many fiat currencies or what Kiyosaki refers to as fake dollars? In response, Johnson stated that it depends upon the place you are in and the currency you are using. The price of gold is at an all-time high when measured in virtually every currency other than the dollar. Many people have the misconception that gold and the dollar are competitors or that they are polar opposites of one another. Nonetheless, Johnson thinks that we are about to enter a phase in which both gold and the dollar will climb in value simultaneously, but gold will emerge victorious in the end. He went on to say that the reason for this is that gold is the money that is used in the market. If there were genuinely free markets around the world, no government interference in the functioning of central banks, then gold would be the currency of choice. Unfortunately, we don't live in a free market. It's possible that we would like to, but we don't, because most governments throughout the world are opposed to the idea of returning to a gold-based monetary system. Meanwhile, Johnson noted that the most significant distinction between the time before COVID-19 and the time after COVID-19 is the degree to which the United States will help mix the milkshake in the future. This is a reference to Johnson's theory of the dollar milkshake. 
According to the dollar milkshake theory, unprecedented monetary easing by the world's central bank since 2008 has resulted in the injection of approximately $30 trillion of reserves into the economy, creating a large amount of liquidity similar to a milkshake. Johnson contends that the global monetary system is rigged in favor of the U.S. dollar and that it does not matter which central bank initiates quantitative easing, or QE, but rather which central bank captures that QE. It doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. The demand for the dollar is far greater than the supply of that money, even though you are producing a lot of it. According to Kiyosaki, this is because a significant portion of the world's debt is also denominated in dollars. And as a result, nations are obligated to repay their debts in dollars. Moreover, the national debt of the U.S. is now estimated to be somewhere around $23 to $24 trillion. However, what a lot of people don't realize is that the rest of the globe has an equivalent amount of debt. Johnson further added that the monetary system was simply not designed for the dollar to become stronger, and that if it were to do so, it would wreak havoc on the economy of the entire world. To summarize, everything else in the world is in for a hard ride. Johnson believes that in the long run, the international community will be forced to participate in another Bretton Woods conference or a conference based on the Plaza Accord in order to address the persistent rise in the value of the dollar, despite the Fed's efforts to bring it down. In addition to this, they will be compelled to either reduce the amount of outstanding debt, establish a new currency, or reset the system in some way or another. When this occurs, it will mark the beginning at which the value of the dollar will begin to decrease. Furthermore, the dollar's value is expected to continue declining as an increasing amount of capital moves out of the country and into other countries for investment purposes. Because of COVID-19, all travel, trade, and general global movement has come to a halt, which also affects the velocity of money. According to Johnson, there is never going to be enough money in the system to pay off all of the debt. In order to pay off all of those outstanding debts, the money supply, therefore, needs to move at a rate that can keep up with the demand. As money velocity drops, there is less circulation of money, which leads to people missing their payments, which in turn leads to defaults and a contraction in credit. And what the central banks do is they pump liquidity into the system in an attempt to counterbalance that lack of velocity. And what Johnson thinks about COVID-19 and the absence of the flow of money is that it is causing the global economy to come in under even greater pressure than it was before. This makes it much more challenging to get the dollars to serve as a dollar debt. And as a result, this accelerates the downside of the milkshake. But, according to Johnson, the flip side is they're going to print all these dollars and all this currency, right? And so when COVID-19 does leave and the money starts to flow again, you've got a recipe for inflation. When asked further about his perspectives in the European zone, Johnson responded that it is likely that the euro will go away or at the very least will not continue to exist in its current form. Conversely, Johnson believes that the value of the dollar will almost return to its all-time high and that the value of the rest of the world's currencies, including the major ones, would decrease by 50%. Hence, if you currently reside in Japan, this indicates that the cost of living will increase for you. Kiyosaki and Johnson believes that if you are not an investor in U.S. dollars, you should definitely just back up the truck and buy gold right now. It would appear that this video has come to an end. Thank you for watching this far. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a like, and comment below with your thoughts on what you've seen so far. This is Finance Sense, here to help you stay updated on the most recent developments in the world's economies and financial markets. Have a nice day, and we'll see you in the next video.